Hey guys, Tara here from Recovering Book Order, and uh, today I am going to bring you a video of all of my coloring tools. And I have so much stuff to show you guys. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pull them out one by one and show you everything that I have in my house to use with my coloring. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start with my basic always have to use coloring tools. Let's look at my colored pencil collection. So I have three go-to sets of colored pencils and I have, they all have their own separate case to hold them. So um, these are my Derwent Ink Tents colored pencils. And I think this was a set of 50, I believe. No, maybe 72. Maybe 72. So I have these. Now these I don't use all that often. I still have a lot of work to do with these to figure out exactly how to use them best. So I have those. And then I have... These are like my go-to, the ones I have absolutely had the longest. You can even tell this thing's pretty beat looking. Um, and that is my Prismacolors. And um, this was the 150 set. And uh, you can see so many pretty colors here. Um, this isn't even all of them because some of them I have over next to my chair right now. But you can see these get used all the time, like constantly, constantly. I'm using my Prismas. Um, they're kind of the ones that I started with whenever I first started coloring, and I I know them best. Like I know how to use them to the best full ability that they have. I'm trying to get my daughter to understand how to use them because she wants them to look a certain way, and I'm like, you gotta watch some tutorials, kid. So I learned to use them correctly. Um, because she doesn't want to listen to me when I tell her how to do it. So, um, I really like this case too. It has a nice handle and it has this pocket here too, which is nice if I need to keep some colors separate for some reason, or if I have other things I need to carry with me. And then I have, these would be my newest colored pencils and the ones I'm getting to know now and have used several times. These are my polychromos and I have wanted these for so long. And kept telling myself when they go on sale on the Amazon for 50% off, that's what I'm going to get them. Because they were never going on sale for that. And then they finally did. And oh, guys, they are like a dream. Um, like I said, still learning how to use them totally. Um, I'm still most comfortable with my Prismas. But gosh, these are just absolutely gorgeous. So this is, you know, the, uh, again, the hundred and... 50 set um and I was I just was so excited when they went on sale and this is also a really nice holder um I have another one of these that's empty I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for put something in at some point um so those are my colored pencils all right moving on to um let's look at markers so my go-to markers are my Prismacolor. I have this case here that's like got junk all over it. Um, so I have this nice case and it holds my Prismas beautifully. So this was the larger set of the, of course, yeah, we used to have this pack of tans near us that um, we would get these 50 or 60% off coupons and you could use them on anything. There was like no restrictions. And that's whenever I would buy my the Prisma stuff. Um, and so I got these pretty cheap. Now they are so expensive. I had to buy a single one the other day and it was like seven something. They used to be between three and four dollars a piece. So geez, so much more expensive now, but I do absolutely love these markers. They are my go-to markers all the time. All right. Then I got this set of brush markers from um, Amazon last year. There's, this is a collection of a hundred. 
Again, some of them are out because they're next to my chair right now. Um, so these are Heathrone. And they are a dual tip. So I've got the small nib on one side and then the brush on the other side. And there's a really, I mean, it's a really nice color palette, which is why I got it. I just wanted a lot more options for brushes. So there's three separate things here. Yeah. Layers of marker. So I've got those. And then continuing with markers, I have the um, Tombow brush pens, which um, I use these mostly with when it comes to journaling. I do a lot with my Tombows. I don't color as much with them. Not to say I never do, but they're not my pickup for coloring. But of course, these are, I'm assuming everyone probably knows what these are, but again, the nice big brush there, and then smaller nibbed marker. Probably not the best one to pick because that one's not easy to see. But those are like the classic brushes, and I have the, um, I have one of the Tombow Twin Tones, and this one's a really quite a small nib there. And then this is not like a, um, like it's not a flimsy brush there. It's a lot harder, that nib. So use those markers. Okay, then I also have this Prismacolor too, this one here. It's a, um, a Prismacolor brush tip. This is just one sided and it's a smaller, smaller brush nib there then on the others. Okay, so I have the um, Paper Mate flares. I don't know if you consider these pens or markers, but I think they're more like a marker. So it's got a very, um, a very small nib there. Like, I don't know if you can tell or not, but like the nib is not that whole thing. It's just this little part up here. So I have those, which are nice for detail work. And then I also have this nice set, which I got for free. Um, actually with some office supplies that I had had to order. Um, this set of the Intensity Thick markers. So these, you know, you have the big one here and I've these are, are newer I have, haven't even used these yet or tried to use them and then the smaller the smaller nib and so these are this is a really nice set there's lots of lots and lots of colors here to pick from um, including metallic metallics here which is awesome um, yeah, my only thing is the, you know, the smell, uh, so I guess if I can color outside, <laughs> I can use this. That's all the markers I have. Now let's move on to pens. Um, so I have a set of jelly rolls. Uh, these are pretty new. Just started using these and man, I am loving them. They're so nice and shiny. So these are the metallic ones here um i've got metallic glittery glittery pens those are super pretty i like those a lot and then along the same lines i have this set i bought these specifically for the glitter um these are kaiser color gel pens and so this side is all glitter and this side is pastel and the um, 
the glitter that comes out of these, it's like really nice, it lays down real nice. And it's because, I don't know if you can see there or not, like it's a really big opening for the glitter ink to come out of. And so it lays down so nicely whenever you're working with them. Um, so yeah, total 24 pens in that. Then I use, I use the uh, Stadler Tripless Fine Liner pens here. I think these all came as a set. Uh, I can't remember where I got them from now. Um, and these are a nice small nib, great for color work. Uh, not good for covering a large area. We'll start to pull up the paper. But really good if you need to get detailed into somewhere. Okay, then I also use... Oops. These stuff gets mixed up. Um, these, the Bilo. Uh, these are the 0 0.4. And again... Real nice for detail work, but don't use them in too big of an area. Don't go over top of things too many times. Like I said, same thing with the sailors. It will pull up paper. Okay, um, what else do we have here? Oh, some more gel pens. So I also have just a thing of gel pens I had gotten. Just like a giant thing of them. And, um, I think most of these, I try, like the glitter, I really love glitter with the pens, but just a bunch of different colors in here. I don't even know that there's a brand. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's really not even a brand name on these, so just like a generic thing of, of uh, pens. Again, good for detail work. Some other markers I forgot about here. So I have these pit pens, Faber Castell pit pens. Um, this is something I'm learning to use. Also, uh, again, I had an issue with some pulling up of the paper. These all have like different tips. So this one's a brush tip. Um, this one's like a normal marker kind of tip, and this all came as a set. I didn't realize that they were all different tips whenever I bought them. Uh, a smaller brush. Yeah, so. A bunch of different ones. Different sizes and stuff. So, um, they're the metallic ones. I've used those. Those are nice. Okay, then... Um, I have my Posca pens. I just got this set of like primary colors here and these are the smaller tipped. I had a bigger tip, um, but these ones are a much smaller tip than some of the other ones that you can get. Um, so we've got those and then stuff I use for backgrounds and like detailing and things. I just pulled out this whole drawer. So I've got some like normal acrylic paint here that I can water down for using as backgrounds. And I have the, these are tubes of watercolor. Um, that was a whole set that I got there. And then a nice, you know, the water brush that you put the watercolor. This one's still in the pack, but I've got another two that are out. Um, the paint, black marble paint here. I, when our one craft store was going out of business, I was like, oh, I'm going to get some of that stuff and I never even opened it yet. Some stickles. Um, yeah. So that's what's in that drawer. And then for backgrounds, I like to do a lot of different things for backgrounds. So, oh, sorry. Here's two more stickles. Two more, uh, stickle colors there. All right. So backgrounds let's talk backgrounds um i do have several gelatos 
again, when the craft store was going out of business, I bought a bunch of different packs of these. So these are the Faber Castell Gelatos. And I have used some of these for backgrounds. Um, I, again, I think I need to watch more tutorials to make the best use out of them. But some nice colors here. I've got the neons. I've got some metallics. And some just like normal colors. This is a Jane Davenport. And it looks like eyeshadow, but it's not. It's like um, chalk pastels is really they are. You can see I've used this a whole bunch here. Um, comes with the eyeshadow thing here, which actually it was quite easy to use that to spread these onto the backgrounds. So those are nice. They're just a little hard, like they're harder. The actual pastel is a harder pastel. I have this set of chalk pastels here. And um, a lot of times I'll take them and I use a, um, like an X-Acto knife and shave it. Like you can see these ones here I had shaved and I just put them in these little tubes, that you, tubs that you would use like for um, paint, to hold paint. And so then I can use, so you can see it's all like that. And then I can use these, here are these Fantastics coloring tool brush point, and I just dip it in and use that to do the backgrounds. And it, this gets in places quite nicely also. Um, and if I have somewhere really small I need to get into, I have these mini tips right here. These are actually, come, you just click it, you know, like there. So each one has two and you can see how small that is. So you can really get into details really, really nicely with that. So that's how I use these. So you can see I've got three of them here uh, done up and it takes some time and it can be messy, but it really, they work really well like that. So that's my set of pastels. I got this um, color box here, paint box chalk, and it is a, these are wet chalks, actually. So it was surprised me when I went to use them. Um, so, and these actually can come out, so you can actually take it if you need to and go like this. But I was using um, these here. So, this is something else. I, so I have this whole thing here. I won't tell you what my husband will call this. Um, and then these little uh, cotton balls, They're like mini cotton balls. And you just take and put it like that. And then you get it on and rub it then on your paper. And it works quite well. So I have those. Um, then I got, let's see, I have these, I haven't even used these yet, um, but they're the Dina Wakely Media Scribble Sticks. This is water-soluble pigment, so this nice little set here, and so I need to learn how to teach myself how to do those. Then I got this Metallic Cream Chalk, this is by Pebble. Um, these are the metallic shades. Now, these are a mess. Uh, I just use these. Now, they have been sitting around for a long time, so I don't know if they're normally that messy. <laughs> Is It was like, they're not creamy anymore. Um, I really had to work to get it out and then just use this to, to use it. So it came with this, came with those, which is nice. These actually come out if you needed to take them out somehow uh, or for some reason. But just be warned, they are messy. Um, but it looked not, I mean, it looked fine. I don't know. Th then I have these also by Pebbles. Now these ones are chalk pastels. So these ones aren't going to be messy like those were. Uh, this one also came with one of these two, but I had used these, so I took it out of there. So this is another nice set. Again, I got this one when 
pack of tails was going out of business. Got them all. Everything was so cheap by the point I went down, like 90% off the regular price. Couldn't beat that. And the last, I think this is the last thing. The last thing I want to share with you guys is the eyeshadow. So you'll see when I do a lot of my videos, I talk a lot about eyeshadow and eyeshadow palette. So I like to use this for the backgrounds. So this is just a cheap little eyeshadow palette. I think I paid like $10 for this, okay? And it has all these colors in it. Look at that. I mean, just tons and tons of colors. If you can't find a color on here to use for your background. <laughs> um, but so I will use, again, these, uh, these things or Q-tips, these, um, for doing the, this. So you just go into it just like you would with eyeshadow and then you go around your, your background and it's such a cheap, easy way to do backgrounds. Um, I would recommend if you use them as a background to apply a fixative to your page. Uh, I actually just use hairspray as a fixative, so it's not steered me wrong yet to this point, but this is a great way, great cheap solution for doing backgrounds. And I, I do highly recommend it and they go a long way, um, really easily. So those are my coloring tools, guys. <laughs> I feel like I have so much. Um, all right. So have you guys used anything like this? Have you ever heard of the eyeshadow technique? Um, it really is great. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to find me other places, everywhere you can find me is down below in the description box. I um, also do floss tube and book tube content. My coloring content, the dedicated day for releasing is Mondays. All right, guys, I will see you later. Bye.